know your rice code provisions short lecture series <clears throat> so in this short lecture i will discuss about the provision which is there on soil structure interaction in is1893 so let's go into the details yeah so clause number 6.1 that is general provisions in that uh, clause number 6.1.5 that is soil structure interaction so what is1893 talks about ssi that is soil structure interaction so soil structure interaction refers to effects of the flexibility of supporting soil foundation system on the response of structure soil structure interaction may not be considered in the seismic analysis of structures supported on rock or rock like material at a shallow depth so when it comes to say soil structure interaction analysis which is a, a, a complex or little complicated analysis so what code suggests is if a structure is resting on uh, say hard rock or uh, a rock like material then the soil structure interaction analysis is not uh, necessary so like in under what conditions this soil structure interaction analysis is needed and uh, what are the details on that so generally when say soil is modeled uh, as against say uh fixed boundaries so usually the structures are modeled by taking a fixed base but if it is a modeled using soil so soil becomes that structure structure becomes more flexible more flexible and thereby attracts less uh, uh, base shear but it is not always the case it depends on like uh, earthquake performance depends on what type of uh, earthquake and also depends on the natural period of the building so it's no doubt that because of the modeling of uh, soil uh, as a spring a natural period of the structure will along it so let's look at some details about uh, soil structure interaction so what is soil structure interaction the process in which the response of the soil influences the motion of the structure when soil is uh, vibrating it influences the response of the structure and if suppose if uh, say there is a place where no structures are present and if we record the ground motion that is called actually free field ground motion free field ground motion when structures are present so that is no longer free field ground motion if that that kind of free field ground motion is available we can assume the structure to be fixed uh, on the fixed base and then uh, subject this uh, structure to the ground motion and get the uh, results or behavior but if soil is a flexible soil is flexible so the the soil influences the motion of the structure so that is the first one and the second one is the motion of structure also influences the response of the soil so the first one is uh, termed as kinematic interaction that is the uh, response of soil influences the structure's response and the second one structure's response influences the response of soil that is uh, inertial interaction so these two put together is soil structure interaction so when it is important it is important as per say tall building code that is is16700 uh, this need to be considered for the buildings which uh, which are more than 150 meters height So roughly say thirty story building, thirty story building, and it is not required. Okay, it is not required for the structure founded on so rock or hard soil at a shallow depths. If it is at the deeper deeper depths and the flexible soils, then soil structure interaction analysis is required. So for that, expert literature has to be consulted. Those details are not available in eighteen ninety three as of now. so briefly if we look at say where soil structure interaction is needed you can see i have categorized the uh, structures into three groups that is low rise buildings mid rise buildings and high rise buildings and three types of soil conditions that is hard soil or uh, rock medium soil and soft soil so low rise buildings no doubt uh, it is not that critical so we need not consider mid rise building if it is resting on say hard soil we need not consider but mid rise building resting on medium soil mid rise building resting on soft soil and high rise building resting on hard soil or medium soil or soft soil so it is suggested to consider uh, uh, soil structure interaction 
so this is just uh, for understanding say so whenever salt structure interaction uh, is to be performed then uh, geotechnical expertise is uh, uh, to be definitely taken so thank you uh, the intention of this short lecture is to help students and practicing engineers to understand is code provisions in a better manner thank you